Hey guys, welcome to All Edge Blade Works. Uh, so tonight we were out messing around in the garage after uh, <laughs> Chopper Dave came over there and we were goofing off with his tanks and fenders and putting clear coat and stuff on it. But uh, I was thinking about a video that I did a while back and it was on old canteens and new canteens and you know vintage stuff and whatever. It was a, just a canteen video. And I don't know why, but I never even showed you guys one that was handmade for me by a very famous Cooper. And a cooper is a guy that makes buckets and cups and canteens and, and they make them out of oak and they do all this hand metal work and woodwork that to me is just absolutely beautiful. And this is one of my best friends right here. And everything that he makes here, um, he uses on the uh, histor historical walks and he does storytelling and uh, he's a historical reenactor. And right now I got a phone call from him last night and uh, I wanted to tell you guys what happened and uh, his name is Don Newsom and uh, I hope it's okay that I'm saying his name on here but I mean I don't, I don't think he'd mind but anyways so anyways he's a historical reactor a re reenactor and then uh, he's on the Daniel Boone Trail in Kentucky right now and last night he called us from the Cumberland Gap and uh, they're filming this right now the whole walk and he's been on either horseback or walking and he's and they're following the wilderness road that Daniel Boone was on his whole pathway so they're following the whole Daniel Boone trail and uh, it was pretty cool that he made he took the time out last night to call me from the Cumberland Gap and I thought that was really special you know that that meant a lot to me and this is something that he spends hours and hours and hours on building and and this little canteen that's wooden and this is a, a wooden cork and it's got sinew to hold it and everything and this is something that like Daniel Boone era back and then back then uh you know the guys like daniel boone whatever they would carry a canteen like this and mine doesn't have a strap and it would have been like a canvas or leather or whatever strap that would have went on this and uh this is a real canteen you could use it and put water in it and everything and, the, and what happens is it'll leak a little bit until the wood swells up and then uh it'll stop leaking when you're using it all the time and uh, i just put mine on the shelf in the house because it's kind of precious to me so uh you know i wanted to i want to be able to uh show it to other people and whatever and it just it's just something that it, i thought is pretty cool and for him to take time out last night and call me uh from the cumberland gap on horseback as he's walking down the trail and hanging out with his buddies and the other reenactors and stuff and one of the other reenactors that's with him right now is a world famous knife maker and he's actually made some really special stuff for me too and i thought that was pretty cool but uh, i figured i'd share with you guys and uh I was having some coffee and thinking about that, and I saw the canteen, and uh, just figured I'd share and let you guys know what was going on. Anyways, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me tonight.